water consumption. How much water will there be in 30 years? Try to imagine a day without water. You probably can't. We require clean water to survive. Your body is made up of about 70% water, your brain 75%, bones 35%, and blood 83%. We can last only 8 to 10 days without water. Alberta's economy also relies on water. Water is used to grow crops, raise livestock, to recover oil, and in factories. We are not alone in our need for water. All life requires water. The water cycle moves water through the biosphere. Water reaches the earth through precipitation as rain, snow, or hail. Once on land, the precipitation can enter rivers and eventually return to the ocean or be absorbed into the soil and eventually reach the groundwater. This groundwater can make its way to the surface through springs or back to the oceans. The precipitation may also accumulate in above ground lakes or ponds. Surface water can evaporate into the atmosphere where it may again condense and form precipitation. Living organisms are part of the water cycle through transpiration and cellular respiration and decay. Plants take water up through their roots and lose water through their leaves. This is called transpiration. A single tree will give off 265 liters of water per day in evaporation. Plants take in water for photosynthesis. Both plants and animals lose water through cellular respiration. Decomposition of matter releases water back to the atmosphere. Water plays an important role in all biogeochemical cycles since it is a universal solvent. There is a limited amount of water in Alberta to meet the needs of people, the economy, and the environment. Canada contains 20% of the world's fresh water. Alberta has only 2.2% of Canada's fresh water, but 10% of Canada's population. Another issue is that 80% of Alberta's water lies in the northern half, yet 80% of the demand comes from the south. There are seven major water basins in Alberta, which flow north to the Atlantic Ocean or east. In order to extract large amounts of water from a water basin in Alberta, you must have a water license. 50% of the flow in a basin must be left to flow east into Saskatchewan or into the United States. As of August 31, 2006, the Alberta government stopped accepting new water license applications for the Bow, Old Man, and South Saskatchewan River basins. The South Saskatchewan River basin provides the cities of Calgary, Red Deer, Lethbridge, Brooks, and Medicine Hat with water. Agriculture accounts for almost half of the estimated surface water used in Alberta. Industry uses, such as factories, account for an estimated 33%. Municipal uses, such as the water you use at home, accounts for 11%. As the number of people in Alberta has increased, water use has risen. The average Albertan uses 350 litres per day. That's 87 and a half milk jugs. Increased water use, combined with droughts, has caused water shortages in southern Alberta in recent years. If water use continues to increase, water shortages are likely to become more frequent. What will happen with climate change? Already, certain areas of the province have been assessed as water short. Water use in Alberta is predicted to increase to more than 4 billion meters cubed by 2025. That's an increase of 21% from current use. Water conservation is going to become more and more important if we are to ensure adequate water levels for future generations. Use Alberta tomorrow to see how water use in your area has changed over the past 30 years and how land use may affect water use in the future. <laughs>